what's up guys so we're going to be doing a test hand video for tgs uh, i figure um i can't really do a combo video for tgs because it just happens right off the bat as you're playing the deck so it's very difficult to actually demonstrate combos out there because a lot of the cards can actually just interact all together so it's best off to show you what potential cards we could actually draw with the actual deck itself and then um, you guys could easily pick up on the particular combos here. So whether or not you're already familiar with TGs, uh, I could definitely um, get you guys to easily uh, learn a lot from this. So it's been partially shuffled already, so we just give it a nice shuffle here and uh, we'll just start off with a few test things. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to try our going first, and with our opening 5 cards in the hand here, uh, pretty nice, we'll go off with Tanky here, so we'll search for our Warwolf. Uh, we'll come back to the deck later for now, um, so yep. Alright, so this is actually a pretty decent hand, obviously it gives us a really good start on things. So let's actually normal summon out the Red Resonator, and I am actually going to go for the Tank Grub here in this particular case. Uh, so special summon out tank rub and Warwolf will trigger off and special summon itself out. And then from there we could also special summon out booster raptor but I think I'll come back to that later on. So for now we could actually just link summon these three together and uh, uh, we'll go for our TG Trident Warrior. So let's see, there it is. And so we have our TG Trident Warrior so his effect is if it's a link summon, you could special summon a TG monster from your hand, deck, and graveyard. So just one from each. Uh, obviously we're going to bring out the screw serpent because it can have an effect that can trigger off. So we'll bring it over here. And from the graveyard, let's see. We're going to bring back uh, the tank rub, I guess. And then the screw serpent will then just bring back the warwolf anyway, so it's fine. And then from the deck, we could bring out one more. So let's actually count it up. We have Tank Rub, level 1 and 4, which would make a 5. So we need a level 2 tuner. So that pretty much means that we'll be looking for a uh, striker here, I think would be the uh, most appropriate choice in this particular case. So uh, because of that, we'll take the Screw Serpent and we'll also take the Tank Rub. And keep in mind, Tank Rub can be treated as a non-tuner if you're going for a TG Synchro Summon. So this would definitely work out pretty well here for the two of them. And uh, as you can tell, we will be going for our TG Hyper Librarian right off the bat. Uh, next, we could take um, Tank Rub. It has an effect, which uh, since it was sent to the material uh, for a TG Synchro Monster, then you could also Special Summon out a token. So uh, we'll just bring out an imaginary token here and uh, I guess I'll just put it somewhere here or something like that uh, but that's basically a level 1 tuner there. Uh, we'll take the striker which is a level 2 tuner as well as our uh, warwolf together and this will allow us to synchro summon once more and where is the other card? I think that was it yeah yeah that was it so go for starter guardian we'll just keep one as a token right there uh, so as soon as Star Guardian is actually summoned out, we could also uh, target a TG monster in our graveyard and add it back to our hand. Now, we have the level 1 tuner right there, so that means we could actually just uh, go for another Synchro Summon, which would be pretty nice. So I think I'll bring back the Screw Serpent in this particular case. Uh, because we Synchro Summon, Hyper Librarian allows us to also draw a card, so I'm going to shuffle the deck and then we'll get to draw one extra card. Okay, so we get another Warwolf. Now keep in mind, Warwolf is not once per turn, so we can actually Special Summon it again if we wanted to. So that's pretty nice. Uh, but of course, Star Guardian allows us to also Special Summon a TG monster from our hand uh, during the main phase. So we'll just special summon out the Screw Serpent. Uh, that pretty much means that uh, Warwolf can also special summon itself out as well. So bring that out. And uh, from there, we could take the level 1 tuner as well as the Screw Serpent and we could synchro summon the two together. So this just goes away. 
and uh, we essentially get to bring out another level 5. So whatever you want to go for here, you could go for either the Wonder Magician or you could go for a Power Gladiator. Um, obviously you wouldn't go for the Star Guardian again because in this particular case he wouldn't really be uh, necessary here. So I think I'll go for the Wonder Magician. Uh, reason why I want to go for Wonder Magician is she is still a Tuna monster that can go for an XL Synchro. Uh, so what this means is during your opponent's next uh, turn, uh, you could actually take Wonder Magician and XL Synchro with the War Wolf for potential level 8 if you are actually playing any level 8 at all. Uh, so that will definitely be pretty interesting there. Um, let's see, what else can we do here? Of course, Lip uh, Hyper Librarian will activate once more, allowing us to draw one more card. So we get a Resonator Call, we might as well just activate it to search out some uh, the other Red Resonator. Just a bit of deck thinning there. This is on the field of course. Now interestingly enough we actually have a really insane board here. Um, if you actually can't uh, tell what's happening, uh, this is really an insane board. Because what I mean by this is we could also special summon out the Booster Raptor. And then at this point, we can end our turn. Literally, we can just end our turn. So basically, during our opponent's turn, um, we have a really amazing play here because during our opponent's main phase, we can go for an XL Synchro right away and uh, have TG Wonder Magician, which is a level 5, uh, the Booster Raptor, a level 1, and the War Wolf, which is a level 3. And together, we could Synchro Summon for a 9. Uh, which means we basically get to go for a Trishula during our opponent's turn. Uh, and as a result, Trishula will activate, banishing one card from either their grave, field, and hand. So definitely uh, very nice there. And of course, with Hyper Librarian, we also get to draw an additional card as well. Um, so that's quite nice. And uh, keep in mind, we also have Star Guardian and Hyper Librarian, which can also XL Synchro. And this will obviously allow us to bring out our Blade Blaster. So ultimately, we have a pretty nice board right off the bat there. Um, as you can see with the combos, you're able to do so much just off that. So uh, definitely really cool there. This is obviously a t turn one kind of going hand here. And as you can see, just this one test hand alone just takes so long. Uh, obviously, that's not going to happen in an actual game because you'll know what I'm doing or you'll know what you'll be doing when you play the deck. However, for this particular video, I am trying to explain every single card and what you could potentially do. As a result, it's going to be a little longer. So I'm going to try uh, going second. <laughs> Alright, so six cards now. Uh, because we are going second, I am going to assume that the opponent has at least one monster. So we will be using Striker's Effect for the free special summon. Um, but yeah, because we're going second, so we're just putting that under the assumption here. So we're going to go for a Fossil Dig and Search. Now we already got Booster Raptor, so that means we're going to search for our Miscellaneousaurus. Okay, we won't shuffle our deck. Uh, assuming our opponent has a monster, we'll special summon out TG Striker. Um, let's see what else we can do here. We could also... We could discard this, but we could also come back to that later. We just need three monsters on the field right now, so... Uh, we're going to have to do a normal summon. So I'm actually going to normal summon out the Rush Rhino. And I'll special summon out the Booster Raptor from the hand. So overall, you have your three TG monsters, and you take all of them and Link Summon right away, uh, allowing you to go for your Trident Launcher. Now, the thing is this. Do you always have to go for Trident Launcher as your first play? Um, majority of the times, yes. But if you're playing other Link monsters in your deck as well, then you can go for that. But you always have to go for at least a Link Summon first to open up fields to allow you to actually go for multiple Synchro Summonings. That's currently the one weakness we have with TGs, is that they do Synchro Summon a lot in one turn. As a result, they do need that... Um, Link Summon to initialize things. However, Trident Launcher should really be your first Link Summon because he'll just give you a lot of benefits. For example, Trident Launcher is about to Special Summon out the Screw Serpent from the hand. Uh, we're going to Special Summon out 
um, I don't know, what are we going to bring out? We could bring out the uh, Striker from the... No, we could bring out Rush Rhino from our grave. And then Screw Serpent can then special summon either Striker or Boost the Raptor back out again. Uh, in this case, I think I'll bring out Striker. And then we could also bring out one TG monster from the deck as well. So we'll bring back Warwolf. And yeah, that's just a really good move there. So ultimately we have this nice big field like this. Um, so I think what we'll do here is we'll take the Screw Serpent and the... No, actually we can't do that. We'll take the uh, TG Striker and Warwolf and we'll Synchro Summon them. To go for our librarian again so let's see we'll take out librarian and then once more we could then uh discard miscellaneous banish the miscellaneous which will special summon off our second one or is it the second booster raptor there we go from the deck it is a non-tuner so we'll take that and the screw serpent and together this will give us the option to go for our Star Guardian. Um, let's see, so with our Star Guardian, we obviously get to add back one from our graveyard back to our hand. So we could either bring back our Striker, our Warwolf, uh, let's see, Boost the Raptor. We could also bring back Screw Serpent as well. Uh, interestingly enough, what we can see is we could bring back Warwolf. Uh, I'll get to why later, but we could actually do a few more plays here. Now, of course, since we went for Star Guardian, our uh, Hyper Librarian also activates, allowing us to draw a card. <laughs> Alright, so we just get another striker, no big deal. Uh, Star Guardian's effect can then special summon one TG monster from your hand, so you bring out striker, and then from there, Warwolf will activate, allowing it to special summon itself back out again, so that's really cool. Uh, one interesting thing you could do here is use Screw Serpent's uh, graveyard effect. You could banish him, target a TG monster, and increase uh, its level by one or reduce it by one. So this happens until the end of turn, so we'll banish it, and we'll reduce Rush Rhino's uh, level to a level three, which means we could take uh, Rush Rhino as well as our TG Striker, and this will allow us to go for another Synchro Summon into Wonder Magician once more. Uh, Hyper Librarian allows us to draw one more card. We can activate Tanky again, pretty nice. Uh, which will allow us to add our second Warwolf to the hand. So that's definitely a really awesome move there. So we replenished our hand again. However, during um, now during our opponent's turn, we could do the whole thing like we did in the first opening hand, where we take Wonder Magician and Warwolf to go for Trishula, and then we could go for... And then we draw one again, because we go for Trishula first, because we have Hyper Librarian on the field. And Star Guardian can XL Synchro with the Hyper Librarian as well to go for further plays. So it's definitely quite nice seeing that uh, we can do so many things here. So... Uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Also, your opponent can't target TG monsters, a uh, synchro monster this card points to, so these three are already being protected by TG Trident Launcher, so it's definitely very nice here. But ultimately, um, as you can see, the deck really does uh, quite similar things here. Um, very looking forward to the new support that will be coming out, I believe, in... Uh, I think Battles of Legend will be getting another brand new TG monster, so definitely looking forward to that to actually update this deck. Uh, but in the meantime, this deck is just incredibly fun. As you can see, with just two test hands, we could just do the same thing. Um, the combos are very similar, however, in the particular sense here, it is a very fun deck, as uh, even though you're going for ultimately the same final board, uh, you are actually starting off with different cards and the different interactions make the deck incredibly fun to play. So uh, this is by far one of the best combo decks that's actually been developed in this entire game. So I'm glad they brought back TGs because I've been having so much fun with this. But definitely let me know how you guys actually perform with this. This is quite amazing. I'm really much so loving it. So yeah, in the meantime, hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you next time.